I'm going to capture invisible particles coming from 150 million kilometers away and I'm going to store them in a lithium battery for the first time in my life. All right, to be able to say that we are living off grid completely, we have to cut our supply from the main grid. That means we have to get electricity from somewhere else. That means we have to produce it ourselves here. And there are different ways to do that. And probably the most popular one is solar power. Right now, I don't have any experience with the solar panels nor the batteries. So basically, I barely understand what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I've been thinking about it for some time and it's quite a huge task for the beginner to accomplish. So the better way would be to start with something smaller and to learn everything I need in the process and not to kill anybody or to waste a lot of money on nothing. And the idea is to start with a small system, which will have a one battery and the one solar panel. And I will be able to just charge a laptop or an iPhone or just to plug my extra light here in the main cave. So while I was thinking about that, one company reached out to me. The company's name is Red Audio, and they were kind of, hey man, do you want to review a battery? I'm like, wow, why not? But I don't have anything to charge it. And they were like, okay, you can pick either charger or the solar panel. Well, it's a no-brainer. I want a solar panel. So uh, this is what we have here. I got the battery and I've got the solar panel. Here we have a nice manual. There are stickers. I like stickers. I put all of them here under the table uh, that I will be dealing later with. So I have two sets of instructions. One is English, one is German. So this is 12 volt battery, 100 uh, ampere hours. Mounting bolts here, quite nice package with the soft uh, foamy thing is quite nice manual, I would say. With nice pictures, I can see everything, I can understand everything. Like for a beginner, I think it's, uh, it's a great product. I'm gonna take my voltmeter, I'm gonna check the voltage on the battery. Now, if we connect negative to negative and the positive to positive, we should see like at least 13.04 volts and I have like uh, 13.08 even 13.1 which means it's very good battery is fine well I have like four bolts here <laughs> but two places to put them I guess two are spare ones which is kind of nice and I have like a plastic caps to put them on top so now let's move to the solar panel Well, it comes with a nice bag with a handle. This is portable sol solar panel. So that means you can take it outdoors. If you're going, I don't know, camping or something, you can use it there. Yeah, so that's how it looks. Okay, let me show it like that. So here we have like, I guess, legs for it. So we can put it at the right angle towards the sun. It's nice material as well. And we have another manual here. Okay, German one. I barely speak German, so I will stick to English. And we have a wire here with the standard solar panel connectors. Nice. This is a 100 watt panel uh, and the length of the wire is one and a half meters. It's five feet cable for my American friends. It's four kilograms heavy or 8.82 pounds. Let's say it co it's quite light. Super nice design, I really like it. This is my first solar panel ever and my first lithium battery ever. So I would say Redodio would be my first forever. Well, I'm curious, can I put that in my car? Huh. Well, maybe I can. I think probably I can. Today, basically, I need to create a system which will be generating, or I mean collecting energy from the sun with this uh, nice solar panel, which will go into the solar charge controller. And from that, it will go to this lovely battery, to my inverter. So the Redodio stuff was provided for me. So thank you, Redodio. 
for that. And the other stuff I bought myself. So I have here car power inverter, which creates 500 watts. Here we have a solar charge controller. This is a cheap one, but it should work. Before I'm gonna start to build the system, you can get a little sneak peek into the main cave. Uh, so this this is my office space. This is the part where the stove with the chimney will go. That's gonna be covered with the bricks. This is more like a gym area. This is my equipment. This is my wife's equipment. I guess let's let's start with the build. So after trying out different things, I've just tried to connect the inverter directly to the battery and see. It works. I have a light here. I'm not sure what's, what's wrong. The power source uh, sign here was blinking. It might have been an issue with short circuit. Well, I kind of figure out the issue. There is probably some issue with the solar charge controller because uh, basically directly from the, uh, from the battery the inverter works but anytime I connect the inverter to the solar, solar charge controller it kind of starts flashing the sign which says uh, that there is some short circuit but there's not, I don't know like first of all I've con connected that the thing incorrectly. Uh, there was um, there was a guidance uh, for me to connect first the battery, starting with the red wire, then the black one. Then I was supposed to connect the solar panel again, the positive first, the negative last, and after that only the power consumer, which is the inverter in my case. So. I messed this up and uh, the manual said that it might damage the item. Now I'm kind of having a dilemma right here. I can order the same one, which is cheap one, which costs like 30 euros. Or I can order the Redodio one, which will work 100%, which is way, way better. Well, welcome to day two of my struggling here. Once again, the problem yesterday was that the solar charge controller did not provide power to the inverter. For some reason, the blinking indicator on the solar charge controller was showing that there was some short circuit problem. Two probable reasons. Either this cheap solar charge controller is faulty or I've connected the wires in the wrong sequence. So that might have damaged the controller so, but that's fine. I found a workaround for that. So instead of plugging my inverter wires to the slots on the charge controller, I've connected it to the battery directly. Basically the setup is next. Solar panels are connected to the controller and controller is connected to the battery and the power from the battery goes directly to the inverter, which is kind of super straightforward. Anyway, in the future I will order the Redodio MPPT controller. As far as I understand, it's super nice and I would like to build a more stable system here to be able to test everything out because it's super fun. I actually really like it. <laughs> and now to show you that everything works, I have my lights here already plugged into the power inverter going up 
there and basically I've positioned them on the top. I think it's, it's the best place for them right now. So basically I have a remote controller here and for the purposes of this demo I will turn the lights off, my main lights I mean, and when I press on you will see the light up top. So we have a little Christmas mood here already. Well, that's nice. Let's see if I will be able to uh, to charge the laptop with that. So, as you can see, this is not charging right now. And I have this cable here, which I will plug in. And you see, this is charging. I hope you can see it. Nice. Well, everything works. That's, that's always nice when everything works. Because yeah, yesterday it was total failure. Well, I just plugged the light in and it didn't work. I almost couldn't sleep last night. I was thinking, man, like, how, how can I fix it? So I think this is win. Obviously, currently it's not charging because there's no sun. It's like foggy and rainy. I don't know. Maybe it will produce like a couple of watts, but who knows. I've created my first solar system with a battery and big, big thanks to Red Audio for providing me the battery and the solar panel. I really like the products. I will definitely build a bigger system in the future with a bigger inverter, with uh, more batteries, with uh, more st stationary solar panels. Well, if you want to get some of this Red Audio stuff, you can check out the link in the description or you can use my promo code MyOfGridStory. I, I definitely recommend this product. I like it. And you know, Red Audio, you will always be my first one. My first lithium battery and my first solar panel. So thank you for checking out my Grid story and you're very welcome to come back and check the next one.